All right, folks, today we are down by the University of Houston. Uh, these guys are in the middle of a home renovation project, and the previous owner was really concerned about the bees. He knew they were here, and he liked them. He wanted them to be taken care of, so they uh, reached out to a beekeeper like myself that said I'd do it without killing them, and here I am. So they got in through this nice little conduit hole right there in the wall. Um, it's kind of hard to see in the shadow, but there it is right there. And uh, there's some good activity coming and going. The weather's nice today, so... We're going to go ahead and smoke them a little bit and get this wall opened up and get into it. Folks, we got the wall opened up and there's your hive. Uh, not quite the biggest I've seen, but uh, certainly, certainly pretty big. I'd say it's been here for at least a year, maybe two. So they got quite a bit of honey stored up top, quite a bit of open space down below that was the brood nest. But we're going to go ahead and start cutting stuff out and salvage all we can. You see her? Yeah. Okay. There's our queen, folks. Rotate it. We got her. Uh, actually, my, my helper here today, Ron, actually is the one that spotted her, so that's a good thing. I was I was just vacuuming, taking my sweet time, not really even looking for her, just trying to kind of clean up some bees, and she crawled it right out in the open. So uh, Ron just looked up and spotted her, so I had my queen cage in my pocket, and I reached up and grabbed her. So we'll go ahead and strap her into a frame inside the hive, and we'll finish vacuuming up the bees, and we're about done. That's it. There you go, folks. Another one successfully done. Uh, we uh, pulled out, like I said, we, we showed that little bit where we caught the queen and there was just that little chunk of comb that was left up there. So we went ahead and cut that out and strapped it in the hive. And uh, right now we've got the hive box just sitting here, kind of near where the entrance used to be in the wall so that the foragers that are returning hopefully will start to orient to that box. But we know the queen's in there and I got a good uh, box full of bees vacuumed up. So we're just gonna clean up all of our tools and try to let as many orient to the box as we can and then we're headed out. That's it folks. Uh, at this point, it's uh, another successful removal. I just got them home, got them set back up. Obviously, they're in the box on the furthest left based on all the activity. Um, I would have liked to have set them maybe a little bit further away from the other hives, but since that hive beside it has the entrance reducer on, it's kind of a small hive. I'm not too concerned. Um, the queen's doing okay, or she appears to be. She was still crawling around, and, and once I put them back together, the, uh, you know, the bees really got to taking care of her and, and attending with her. Um, what I did this time was actually had the queen in the in the hive which I probably should have had her in the truck with the bees but um I took my bee vax and I could put it in the cab of the truck with me which you know they're all sealed up inside they can't get out but that way I knew they wouldn't get overheated so I was on the way home with the the AC running you know try to keep them cool um and it seemed to work because they were pretty active it, it's pretty obvious why they you know can get why the last ones got overheated because the last ones when I got them all sick and overheated I had about two and a half or three pounds of bees in that box versus about a half a pound that I had in this one. But even that half a pound, man, they were running all over and, and really active, really putting up a, a fuss. So it's no wonder why, you know, the other ones got overheated when you had them too confined. So hopefully I don't cause some fighting issues or robbing issues of putting them this close together. But I think this hive has enough in it that it'll be okay. And we actually filled, almost filled a deep with the honeycomb that we removed. But because we did this during the day, I think I lost a lot of forager bees that probably didn't get. And uh, so I didn't have very many bees that I brought home. And that's why I reduced them down to the nuke. And really that's okay because a lot of the comb that I had here in the left in that deep and the scraps in the bucket, a lot of it's bulgy or it's odd shaped. And I really, you know, honestly, I didn't want to put it in the hive. So um, I'd rather reduce them down to a nuke like this, let them get their feet back under and build back up. And uh, then we'll up them back up to a, to a full deep. Um, I was a little concerned doing the work, you know, we caught the queen, everything looked good, but the whole time we did the job, I didn't see a bit of brood comb, not one ounce of brood comb. And uh, while we were doing the job, I wasn't looking real close, but I didn't see any eggs either, and so I thought, well, you know, it's, it's wintertime, that's not all that uncommon, although, although down here, you know, with it being so warm, um, most of my other hives do have some brood comb in them. Um, however, right now, when I was just setting things back up, I looked through all the scraps of comb that we had put in the bucket, and I actually did pull out one piece that had uh, pattern of eggs in it so I made sure and got that back in there and, I, and I'm awful glad I checked that because I was just gonna set that bucket out and you know let the bees rob whatever honeycomb was in it but but I actually looked back through it and uh, got lucky and found some eggs in it so that's good I made sure and put that piece back in there I've released the queen you can see they're bearding up quite a bit on that board and on the side of the neighboring hive so hopefully that doesn't cause any issues but there, there's an awful lot going on right now so um, we'll go away we'll let them calm down and then um, Probably tomorrow, I'll, uh, if I get a chance, I'll open them back up and, and take a good look through there. So um, that's it for now. Another one. Just done. wanted to give you folks one last quick update on what happened with the bees. Um, you can see I moved the nuke over here now to the middle of my rail. It was sitting over there just 
on the very left end and um, what you just saw a minute ago in the video you know there was that gap between them that was about two inches wide and uh, I mentioned how there was an awful lot of activity and you could see the bees bearding up on the front of the box and I said they were bearding up on the side of the neighboring box uh, what ended up happening actually was I got to looking back at them I, I looked at them a couple hours later after I made that last little bit and uh, opened up the hive and it was empty the bees were completely bearded up between the two hives and uh, when I got them home I'd release the queen and normally I don't release the queen that quickly but I went ahead and did it uh, and what happened was she actually crawled out and was outside the hive inside that ball and they were all clustered outside the hive essentially getting ready to swarm off somewhere else so I'm lucky I came out here and I saw that and I caught them I was actually able to uh, go through that cluster real quick and I did find the queen again and I recaged her and put her back in the cage to leave her overnight well then I came out uh, yesterday which was Saturday so the next day after I'd done the removal and popped the top off the hive and went to release her and she had already escaped. Now the bees were still there and they're still here now as you can see them coming and going. Uh, they were still there but she had uh, escaped because what had ha I had actually broken that queen cage when I caught her on the job and that's why in the video you see it had a rubber band around it and I guess when I broke it and I rubber banded it I didn't get it all lined back up right so one of the gaps was wide enough that the queen actually did manage to escape but she was in there, she seemed happy, I saw her actually grab the first frame, pulled it out, and she was on it. So, uh, anyway, like I said, just want to do a quick little wrap-up video. I think they're settled in now. Um, I've got the feeder put on them, and I've got the introducer on. I do see a little bit of fighting going on on the entrance board, and I think it might actually be other bees that are coming and trying to rob from that feeder. Uh, so, hopefully, that'll, hopefully it'll all be taken care of. I might check on them again later, but I don't want to have to put, I mean, the entrance is pretty well reduced down you know about as low as I'd like to go with it just that one little spot there about halfway from the right side and there's a little gap where they can get around the edge of it too but you know I don't want to have them keep fighting I don't want to lose any bees just due to ignorant fighting but I think the other bees are really being kind of aggressive and trying to trying to get into that feeder so there is some fighting going on but anyway I think they'll be fine that's it for now just wanted to give you that last little wrap-up video